right now. Let's meet the three peak, the 2017-2018 MASL champion, Baltimore Black! Everyone remembers this player going down due to injury on January the 19th. After a great deal of treatment from our trainer, Heather Colbus, and the MedStar staff, he was back on the field for the semifinals in eight weeks. We know him as the best goalkeeper in the league, our championship MVP. Let's hear it for number zero, William to put me back on the field. I cannot forget this. They were so special and they are the reason why I came back. Let's not forget about this gentleman. He did a great job practicing with the team all year. And if he can get that visa, he can in great shape. Always with a great attitude. Give it up for number one, David You know, we just talked about William going down with an injury on January the 19th. Well, who arrives on January the 20th ready to help this team in their championship run? He filled the nets down the stretch, winning some big games, including two big victories against the Milwaukee Wave, helping us obtain home field advantage. He was outstanding in goal for the first playoff series against Syracuse. Let's give it up. For the last unsung hero, number 99, Joey Capuzos! Joey, 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 How about this guy's clever finish in the championship game? He's got that handlebar mustache. Next up, the player with the most tears will the Baltimore Blast. Remember, he retired, wasn't it, about a year ago? And then came out of retirement to lead our defense. This year, he was once again named first team All-MASL. He recorded two big assists in the championship game. The Minister of Defense, number nine, Pat Green. What can you say about this guy? He had another outstanding season for this championship team. He led the team in scoring and was named to the All-MASL second team. He recorded one assist in the championship game, the captain of your Baltimore Blast, number 11, Tony How about this hard-nosed defender? Nobody likes throwing up against him. In addition to defending, he also recorded 21 points this year, and he was named to the All-MASL third team. Give it up for number 12, Adrian Hart! This guy's in his third year with the Blast. This player was a solid defender all year and stepped up with five assists in the playoffs. He also had some big goals during the regular season. Give it up for number 13, Jeremy <laughs> In his second year with the Blast, 
You can see this player buzzing all over the field throughout the season, including our championship game in Monterey. Let's hear it for forward number 17, Jamie Thomas. In his rookie season, this defender recorded seven goals and continue the blast tradition of getting players named to the all-rookie team. Let's hear it for number 19, Marco <laughs> And weren't we glad to get this guy back. Prior to the season, he tore his ACL and in January pulled a muscle in his leg but was ready down the stretch and in the playoffs. He is a bulldog as a defender, and he's an enforcer. Give it up for defender number 20, Mike Beeson! <laughs> this blast forward is in his fourth season. He really stepped up his game in the playoffs the past two seasons. He scored the game-winning goal in the championship final game in Monterey, and he just had a brand new baby. Give it up for number 22, Jawan Who can forget this guy? Fourth-year midfielder. Had an outstanding season. Recorded three goals and five assists in the playoffs, including an assist on the power play in the championship final. Let's hear it for number 23, Chad Calm down, Mel. How about this guy in the playoffs? Six goals, including the power play bomb in the championship game. Number 25 forward, Daniel. <laughs> Next is a second year defender, strong on defense and has a powerful shot. Let's hear it for number 26, Elton. D. Here's an outstanding target forward. Last year's playoff MVP. Oh, yeah. He came through again this year with eight goals in the playoffs, including the first goal in the championship game. Give it up for number 28, Vinny. Our last player we introduced tonight started off this championship season as a defender. And the injury to Lucas occurred. He was moved to target forward. And what a job he did. Last players will do what it takes to win championships. He took on that. And it's number 78. Yes, he did. Nelson! <laughs> A key reason for our championship is trainer extraordinaire. Let's hear it for Heather Comas! Number one equipment manager, Mark Maceros! PR Director and Game Day Ops, Joe Boye. The assistant to inhale. Let's hear it for Cindy Smith. Five. 
behind the scenes, putting all the fans in this great new CQ Arena. Give it up for our assistant general manager, Mike Conway! And let's hear it for the president and general manager of your Baltimore Blast, Kevin Healy! Next up is one half of the best coaching tandem in the MASL. The assistant coach of your Baltimore Blast, David Bastille! And now let's hear it. For the skipper of this squad, he's coached the Blast to seven, seven championships. Now we'd like to invite Danny to come up and say a few words. 